If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, this is Donna. Welcome to Pants Week. That is what we are gonna be talking about all week, you guys. We're gonna be talking about the pants. What is the pants? It is the most important test any PA student will ever take because it's what takes you from a PA to a PA. C. That's right. We want to be a PAC, not just a PA. And to do that, you have to take the pants. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about the structure of the pants. If you're going to take this test, you want to know what you're getting into, right? And so that's what I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information about. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adana, the PA right now. All right, you guys, so the pants, right? Where are you gonna get all of this information for for this big test that we're gonna be studying for the PA National Certification Exam? We're going to go to nccpa.net. That is our certification body. So that's where you're gonna get all of the information with respect to what the pants is, you know, how is it structured, kind of like how is it scored or those type of information. But I'm also gonna give you a brief synopsis of that right here, right now. So the pants is a five hour test. Yes, five hours hours you're going to be doing this test um, it's broken down into 60 minute blocks and there are 60 questions in each 60 minute block but you also have a 15 minute break totaling 45 minutes uh, so you have three breaks in that five hour time period to kind of just go out, like refuel, drink some water, go use the bathroom, because you cannot leave while you're in the test unless you're on your break time because they wanna cut down on like any semblance of cheating whatsoever. So you're gonna have to do all of that during your 15 minute break. So that's essentially like the start of the exam. You have 300 questions, five hours to do this test, 60 minutes for 60 questions, so a minute a question. And schools do a really good job of trying to kind of get you to that point where they break down, like they kind of start you off at maybe like 90 minutes for like a 90, so you'll do like 90 seconds a question, and then they'll bring you down to actually doing a question in a minute. So that is something that's very important. Also, the pants is broken down into your different sections. Now, like I said, if you go to nccpa.net's website, you can find a breakdown of the pants through their blueprint. The blueprint is huge. It's a lot of pages, but it goes so in depth into exactly what you're gonna be talking about. With respect to the blueprint, it will tell you all of the different sections that you really need to know, what you're possibly gonna be tested on, and those different disease processes in that section. So it's really, really good and really helpful to go to NCCPA's website to actually figure all of that information out. Now, this video, I was able to partner with Kaplan to actually do this video and provide you guys, all of my viewers and subscribers, a code, a link, I will leave it in the description box below, where you can get the extra added help that you need to prepare for the pants. Expert lecturers, like teachers in the, you know pants prep, and then also it will give you an opportunity to have a, a kind of personalized lecture for you and for pants prep and pants review. Um, so my code, which is Adana15, it will be down there. Um, you can hit the link, Go there, you'll get 15% off, but they are running a special right now for 20% off. It's a back to school special that you can get 20% off of the services that they're providing. So go on, hit that up right now. With that being said, it helps you in understanding these different sections. So like I said, how it's broken down into different sections, your renal section. Now that is your kidneys. Cardiovascular, you'll have dermatologic, your ENT, your endocrine, your GI, your GU, your hematologic, infectious diseases, <sighs> musculoskeletal, neurological, psych, pulmonology, and reproductive. So all of those will total out to be 100% of your pants grade. Like I said, the blueprint goes in and it makes sure that you know exactly what specific diseases 
in that overall organ system that you should know. For instance, um, like a AAA, you need to know what a AAA is and you need to know stable angina versus unstable angina for the cardiology system. And it will definitely like break it down bullet point exactly everything that you need to know or possibly could be tested on on your pants in that particular section. But also they do this thing where they break it down into tasks. Um, so for your task, you'll have something like, let's say history taken. So you're gonna need to know how to take a good H and P because you're gonna have to write that down. And let's say you were given a question stem and you're given all of this information, you have to be able to pull out all of the right information from that patient's history to make sure that you get the correct disease. You'll have your history taken, which is worth 17% of your pants, your diagnostic and laboratory studies, which is worth 12% of your pants. You have getting the correct diagnosis, which is worth 18% of your pants, which makes sense because you have to be able to get the correct diagnosis when you're out in the actual field. You don't wanna be diagnosed with, you know, I don't know, pancreatic cancer, when you actually have, um, I don't know, liver cancer or you have a lung cancer, that's just really poor medicine and bad form because then you're gonna be treated for pancreatic cancer when you really should be treating for lung cancer. So that is part of the whole system, making sure that you get the correct diagnosis. The other thing is your health maintenance and patient education, which is worth 10%. Um, it comprises 10% of the pants. So in that 13% of your cardiovascular questions that you can possibly have out of the 300 questions that you're gonna be given, you're gonna probably see a percentage of them or a large percentage is going to be about getting the correct diagnosis and then also health maintenance and patient education. Are you telling the patient exactly what they need to do going forward to make sure that they continue to have good health? So that's something that's also very important. You're gonna be tested on your clinical intervention, which is worth 14% of the overall um, questions that you're gonna ask, get asked. You're also gonna be tested on your pharmaceutical therapeutic intervention, which is also worth 14%. And that's really big, I learned and I saw this just on my rotations as I'm doing them right now, that you need to know what are the correct drugs to treat this particular person um, and their different comorbidities. Because let's say, you know, you don't want to use a drug that's gonna exacerbate their heart condition even more. Um, although it may be the first line treatment, you wanna make sure that you're catering to that patient. So you have to know the side effects and um, the different drug interactions of all of their different pharmaceutical that you're gonna be prescribing. Applying the basic science concepts is also part of what you're gonna be tested on in your pants. That is 10% of your question stems that you're gonna see and then professional practice. Like as a PA, how are you operating professionally? So we have two major sections on how it's broken down. Your organ systems, which talks about your assessment and diagnosis of that particular um, disease process, and then also understanding that you have a knowledge and a skill set of that disease. And then your task categories, which just kind of goes in further into a more depth on, are you getting the correct diagnosis? Are you using the right drugs? Are you using the right clinical interventions? Um, are you using the la right laboratory studies? Or do you know what laboratory studies correlate with this particular disease? So it's important, you guys, that you go and do your research. You have to have to know that, hey, I just don't need to know the disease or be able to recognize the disease. I also need to know what's the first, second, and third line treatment of this disease. I know that's hard for you to wrap your mind around. You're like, oh man, how am I gonna keep all of this information in my mind, right? How am I gonna know all of these different treatments? But it's important for you to know that because when you're out in the field and you have a patient that is allergic to the first line treatment, then knowing the second and third line treatment is gonna be beneficial. So hopefully this video helps you guys understand a little bit more on how exactly the pants is structured. It's structured based on organ systems and then tasks that you all have to understand. It's also a five hour exam that is comprised of 300 questions in 60 minute blocks. 
right? Really quick, short, concise for you. Hopefully you guys can hit that Kaplan website. You guys go to the, that link. It will help you um, with respect to having you know, a teacher and then also kind of lectures that you can look at on different topics. Um, again, use my code Adana15. Uh, the link will be down in the description box below. And if you already haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and join me for the rest of Pants Week. Bye.